Hi Star Campus students, Professor Dylan here, coming to you from my home office as we wrap up this first week of our remote instruction format. Well, this has been an unprecedented few days, both for our campus and for our country as a whole. And as we wrap up this week and head into the spring break, I just want to share a few quick things with you. Uh, first off, I want to thank you all for the ways that you have risen to the challenges that have been brought on by uh, the changes that we've seen over the past week. I've been so encouraged by the way that you've embraced the new format for our classes and the way that you have encouraged each other, as well as the kindness that you've shown to me. I can't tell you the number of students that I've heard from just checking in to make sure that my family and I are doing okay. And that really means a lot to me. Secondly, I want to remind you to prioritize your health and the health of your loved ones during this time. And in doing so, not only will you be helping to protect yourself and your loved ones, but you'll also be contributing to the wider effort of trying to prevent the spread of this virus to our wider community and beyond. And then finally, I just want to encourage all of you to continue pushing through to the end of the semester. You have put so much time and effort into all of your classes, and I encourage you to keep doing that going forward. Now, certainly the next few weeks will bring its challenges, but one thing I've learned about the students on this campus is that there's no challenge that you can't meet. Please ask for help when you need it. Lean on your instructors, on our campus staff. Everyone is here to support and help you. We all want to see you succeed. All right, well, that's it for now. Thank you again for all the love and light that you bring to our campus. I'm very proud to be a part of this community, and I hope you all have a wonderful spring break. Hi, classes. It's me. I'm so sorry that we're all stuck at home quarantined, but I'm really happy that everybody's following the rules and staying at home. This is my cat. Her name is Gray Baby. And we just wanted to say hi and let you know that we're thinking of you and that we hope to see you soon. Okay, you take care. Bye-bye. Good morning, Flashes. This is Jasmine Akhtar uh, from Student Services. And this is my daughter, Aurora. Uh. We hope that you and your families are doing well during this critical time. And although the campus is closed, I wanted to let you know that we are here for you through phone calls, text message, uh, emails, and de definitely some uh, virtual appointments. I look forward to meeting many of you through our different online communications platforms that we are offering. Also, please check out www.kent.edu stark for any updates. And I know that there have been a lot of changes in the last few weeks. So I hope that you do some self-care during the spring break and stay home. Um, again, as I say, that please feel free to reach out to us with any questions. We are always here for you. Thanks. Bye. Hi, everybody. My name is Alan Chu, and I'm an English professor at your university, Kent State University at Stark. The reason why I sound like this today is because I've been congested for the past four days, but I'm like 96% sure it has nothing to do with the coronavirus. Clearly, it's been a weird couple of days. I want you to know that we as a faculty are thinking about you and to please contact us if we can help you with anything. As the spring break approaches, please be safe, take care of one another, and we'll get through this thing together. So springtime isn't going to wait. Even as we shelter in place, Professor Shura strongly recommends safely getting outdoors every day if you can. Hi Kent State Stark students, it's Connie Kramer. Um, I'm the lab manager for biology and chemistry. If you've taken a lab, you have probably seen me at some point. Um, I hope you're enjoying your break so far. It's the weirdest spring break you ever had, I'm sure. Um, we are doing all right, uh, and I hope everyone is um, healthy and figuring out a way to uh, do all the things that you need to do at home. 
Um, I sure miss all the students, all of you students. I uh, miss my colleagues. I miss the lab. Um, and I hope that when we all get back, we uh, appreciate um, our campus and our community even more. So for now, I wish you well. Um, hang in there. Keep working. We're going to get through this and listen to science. Good afternoon, folks. Just a quick note to reassure you that we will eventually get through this very difficult patch and reflect on it, wondering why we were so stressed going through it. I trust that you and your loved ones are staying safe in the comfort of your own homes and where this is not possible are doing everything in your power while using your selfie stick to maintain the appropriate social distance. Please take some time next week to kick back and relax a little, read some books, watch some TV, play some of those old board games that have been in your cupboards for years, and really get to enjoy one another now that we have the time to do so. I am blessed to be home with my darling wife of almost 40 years, Carol, and are in daily contact with our daughter Shelley and her boyfriend Matt via Skype. Since our son Rowan is supervising a facility very close to our house, he does stop in from time to time when we get the chance to speak to him and his wife, Stephanie, each night before they both go to bed. Our kitty, our surrogate granddaughter named Annie, because we adopted her at PetSmart on our 39th wedding anniversary last year, is so confused with us being home all the time, but is really loving every minute of us being here to spoil her. Please feel free to reach out at any time and do not fret. As Dr. Seacrest said in her message, we will all get through this together and be a lot stronger for it. Please take good care of yourself and kindest regards from Greg Blundell and the family.